I'm, I'm so I want to try the Apple Watch when it comes out. I just yeah. So I'm like really struggling there. Except, I don't really like to wear stuff that much. Well, I don't either. But so I don't know. Yeah, I just like the size of it and the capabilities. But it, it is interesting. It does have some interesting possibilities, yeah. but. I and it would know. be good. You know, where it would be especially good as um, working out. Yes, it would be. So I end up get carrying my phone around a lot because I, know, I use too. it to track my heart rate stuff, and that's well, kind of. But a with pain. the polar, you're using the polar heart rate no, strap, right? No, no, oh, no. I have an anymore? Under Armour, oh. and it syncs to the phone and an, and an Under Armour app. Ah. It doesn't connect to any of the watches. Not that I am aware of. It's true. Yeah. It's OS friendly. But it, it has an iOS. The Under Armour has an iOS app right. for the phone, so I'm hoping maybe they'll have something on the watch and then I can ditch the phone. Yeah. At least while I work out, but maybe, maybe not, because I need to listen to music. Well, but you could leave the phone on a corner as opposed to. But it's only carrying Bluetooth it range, though, right? Yeah, but. Well, it depends on oh, the gym that you're going to now. A yeah, bigger, it's yeah. bigger. We'll see. <laughs> One what? 60. Yeah, I need to. Yeah, that's some kind hot. of something to put it in, but <laughs> hot. <laughs> Depends. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna get going here, guys. Let's do it. <clears throat> Me. The girl. La ragazza. All right, here we go. And in three, two. That's you. That's you, I thought. Well, but you have to start with your name, and then I say my name. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. I That's was okay. just thinking that. <laughs> Dave, you want to give us another? <laughs> <laughs> that goes in the blue <laughs> <laughs> it's been a couple weeks since you've been on the uh, Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it wasn't written here, so I didn't know. <laughs> Yeah. Where, where, where are we? It's the what are we doing? Geek food thing. <laughs> okay, let's try that again, guys. Okay. Sorry. And in three, two. Hello, everybody. This is Scott Ellis. Hey, Scott. There's a <laughs> <laughs> three. Dude, we always do the. <laughs> but we do it on here, though, on the. No, yeah. On the... <laughs> Yeah, you're like staring at my reading the cue cards. Hi, this is Scott Ellis. The camera's right here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's okay. Take you're going to have a beer tonight. It's okay. I'm going to have a couple now. <laughs> I don't think he needs any. All right. And in three, two. I'm Scott Ellis. And I'm Callie Lewis. Today on Geek Beat Live, YouTube dropped a major bomb. The FAA clips Amazon's wings. How to get better uh, Facebook notifications. <laughs> Beards are so overrated. Oh, and do you ever feel like you hide yourself for others? It all starts now. <laughs> Welcome back to Geek Beat Live. I'm Callie. That's Scott. And Good to be here. Yeah, I think Good to be you, back. I think you just made an enemy in the audience, though, Ooh. with that intro. With what? Uh, the beards thing. Oh. No. It's so long. Not worried about it. We might, we might get to that soon. He's so weighed down <laughs> by that thing. He'll never catch me. <laughs> <laughs> just throw some water on him. No, no chance. <laughs> so, as you guys have noticed over the last few weeks, and I mentioned it last, I think it was last week, I don't know, two weeks ago, yeah. um, that uh, we are kind of uh, changing stuff up with hosts, and um, you'll see a lot more of our hosts that you've seen over the last couple of years, Scott, David, Damani, uh, come here on live with me and John, and then you know we'll just all be a big happy family and switch it up so that you guys can get to know them a little bit better as well. But that's not the only thing that we're changing, right? No, We're going to mix not. up the format of the show a little bit, too, and yeah. see what you guys think of it. Exactly. So let us know. Uh, we're going to have a, kind of a mixture of stuff that you might have seen this week mm -hmm. happen over on geekbeat.tv, yep. as well as some new stuff that has not 
been shown anywhere on our, our websites or our social media. And it is brand new content for you guys watching the live show because we love you so much that you take the time out to spend with us each and every Friday. That's a lot of love. Thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so with that. Um, so uh, speaking of shows, yeah. we are heading to NAB. One of show. my favorite shows. Yes. So this is the National Association of Broadcasters. And what is it? National, so it's a, a, an industry focused show that is all kinds of technology and information and all this stuff about broadcast. So all the stuff we do here, but also, all, of course, all the big TV stations and anybody right. that has anything to do with broadcast. So you'll see the telecoms are there and a lot of other people. There's yeah. some really, really interesting technology and it's some pretty hardcore stuff. And that's one of the things I like about it is it a little more industry focused. It's mm -hmm. still incredibly busy, but not quite as crazy as CES. Right, It's a exactly. fun show. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> it is a lot of fun. And it teaches us the things that we need to know to keep doing production the way we do it. That's right. And it's, it's, our, it's our playground. It is. Really, to, to kind of it's find out CES. new, new uh, gear and new lights, cameras, action, all that good stuff to share with you guys, our content. And hopefully it enables us to bring some more interesting and new things to you guys. Correct. You know, enables us to do some different stuff. Absolutely. So if you guys want to attend, you can get a free expo pass just by going to geekbeat.tv slash attend NAB show. Uh, and that will give you floor access for free um, because you guys watch this show. And we are the official partners of NAB show. So uh, that's going to be an exciting time. Come hang with us in Vegas if you can. It's exactly. going to be a lot of fun. Uh, also events that we're going to, um, uh, South by Southwest is coming up a, in a few weeks. Mm -hmm. And so uh, a couple of us will be down there. Uh, I'm uh, doing some stuff, fun, some fun stuff with Bausch and Loam. And so I uh, look forward to more information on that. I can't share everything just yet. But uh, so if you're down at South by, say hi if you see us around. For sure. Um, giveaways. Now, we have something to give away. Are we giving something away? or We are. It is live right now. Uh-oh. Did you see the Fathead uh, installation? Yeah. We've got them all over the place now. We do. <laughs> so Fatheads... <laughs> We're covered up. I know. <laughs> Fatheads are these like stickers, the wall stickers that go on your wall, but you can take them down and they don't hurt the, the paint. Right. And they're beautiful, huge, or small if you want. Uh, and so Fathead sent us a few for the uh, Geek House, mm -hmm. and they're all over the place. Uh, video at geekbeat.tv slash live160 uh, to see how to install those properly. Yeah, and that's that's an important one. If you do go get a Fathead, you want to make sure you install it the right way. Otherwise, you get the little bubbles. And yeah. These are big, beautiful images, so take the time. And exactly. Get it done right. And you can get one yourself by going to geekbeat.tv slash giveaway. That will end one week from today. So go now. So Don't wait. Now. All right, we are getting the wrap up. Uh, so we are going to please Pablo over here <laughs> from getting mad. We're going to take a quick commercial break and be right back. Jason, that fat head invasion is totally your fault. It is all your fault because. And the giveaway is US only, right? Or I don't can know. Can we send them anywhere? Is it, David? What's going uh, is on? the Fathead giveaway U.S. only? U.S. and Canada. U.S. and Canada. Oh. Hey. We're, we're giving we're the Can expanding. Canadians a load. What's up? Yes. I'm just checking. Canadia. Mountie stick. <laughs> Canadia people. Canada Canadias. <laughs> <laughs> the war has begun. I'm getting the look. <laughs> Uh-oh. Why are you pretending to take pictures? Yeah. Who says this? <laughs> this is not a camera. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Digital Phil. doesn't do anything. He was holding it up and the whole lens was like closed and everything. I was waiting for the uh, lens to pop out. Oh, okay. What cookies? I, I see Serenity Rob. What, what cookies? I want cookies. Nobody gives me any cookies. You know, I got a little bit of chocolate from Dave Curley's uh, daughter. She was selling chocolate the other mm -hmm. day. And somebody, Scott, what? took my caramel. You gave me that one. Kind of, I you did. You want it back? No, I'm sure it's already eaten. <laughs> Thought I'd dry. <laughs> that could have been fun. Really? No. That would have been fun for you? You get, you get joy out of that? <laughs> I, it wouldn't, never mind. Just forget it. Just let it go. I, I can understand this is going really someplace. Proud of yourself. <laughs> Not since I was about three. 
Okay, uh, that's enough. Steve, I think Ooh. it was a uh, school fundraiser. I yes. don't think it was a, it was, yeah, it was a school fundraiser, not yeah. not Girl Scouts. We did have uh, one of the guys who leased offices up here, uh, yeah. Cher, uh, Cher Rocket. Tram, yeah. Apparently, <laughs> from our stories. Uh, he, uh, he has a daughter with Girl Scouts, and I tweeted a picture about yeah. that. I, 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 I bought a bunch of cookies, and they're in the freezer. I'm trying to forget that I have them now. I already ate a box. A whole box? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I think I need to go back to the gym. Ooh, what? You have cookies here? <laughs> no, 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 no. They are he not wouldn't here. keep them here. Are you kidding? Yeah. Wow, They're Brian, for, a cheesecake? You know, the, nice. emer the occasional emergency breakdown. Of course. Yeah. That exists. Our producer just left, so we can't come back from commercial break. <laughs> he went he really to get the cookies. I think he really thinks the cookies are <laughs> <laughs> Dave. Uh, back up. Do you guys also cook your Girl Scouts? Oh. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Bobby. <laughs> You're back to making me laugh out loud. Thin mints. <laughs> hey, give me one. Hey, I want one. Not that I'll eat it on camera. Awesome with the cough drop. <laughs> you should totally eat one and get it all in your teeth and stuff and then do the next intro. When That'd come be back. great. <laughs> Why, thank you. Ah! No, thank you. Not right now. Oh, come on. No, I don't want one right now. I'm going to save you. mine for later because he won't be It'll, so it's willing It's going to melt on later. the table. And then you're going to blame the dog. <laughs> Give it to me. I'll save it for you. Yeah, I'm sure you'll <laughs> save it. I am sure. <clears throat> well, I'm glad, I'm glad to know that, uh, Janie, I put you to sleep. <laughs> that's, it's always the best compliment. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gotta mention you. <laughs> Are we gonna introduce ourselves again when we come back? I no. Forget. Okay, I didn't think so. Well, no. Just come back with something funny. So, <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Just be really funny. <laughs> Here. We'll, in, we'll, uh, we'll talk about the Thin Mints. Out. <laughs> I'm just reading the next story. <laughs> nice. Smacking down the intern. I had another hair vlog. Oh, I forgot about the hair vlog. I From... my hair back and forth. Can, <laughs> no. Can you do that for a vlog? That would be awesome. That would be funny. <laughs> mm. <laughs> no, I did the hair I can't vlog do when it. I went to. Um... <laughs> yeah, those hairs don't count. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> You part on the left or right? Jeez. Oh, wow. I went to. It's not uh, a mustache. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah. Never. Be <laughs> funny. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Welcome back to uh, Geek Beat what, Live. What do you have over there, Callie? Um, what well, is that? I kind of snuck uh, a Thin Mint, a Girl Scout cookie from uh, Dave Curley, the producer is over it, here. Is it and made from real Girl Scouts? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. Okay, good, that, good. That Just making bad. sure. But I, but I don't like to eat while I'm on camera. But he was giving them out to the entire uh, audience here, yeah, which that was is very generous, not really an audience; it's just staff members. But um, <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but yeah, he was handing them out, and so I was like, "Well, he won't be so generous later." So I thought I'd steal one, but I'll save that for later. I hope it doesn't melt under these lights. Well, they they are LEDs. That's so true. It gets a little bit better. Yeah, better. <laughs> anyway, um, we are live on YouTube, as always. Mm -hmm. And speaking of YouTube, they dropped a huge bomb on their entire uh, collection of creators this week. They did, and I think it's safe to say that we're still trying to filter through some of the details of exactly what this means. Correct. However, what it looks like is uh, videos that are running ads in them are no longer permitted. Those ads are no longer allowed. So the ads that we run pre-roll in the or mid-roll in the uh, episodes and things like that are going to have to change. Right. Well, so there are a couple of things here. So uh, if you if you get paid for your videos, and right. that's a that's a specific clarification. Uh, what? Are we not going to show the clip? Oh, uh, we are. We, do we have a clip ready to go? Because I didn't pay any attention to our run sheets. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> let's let's give you a little clip here of something we shot yesterday. All kind of earth-shattering news. Mm -hmm. So what Google is, so so what Google and YouTube are doing now, is they are 
what they say they're going to start uh, to enforce a rule, this is the company line, that they've always had about, about um, displaying logos essentially for uh, marketers and for sponsors and things like that within videos. And I understand their point. I mean, their logic is, is perfectly sound. They're saying that, look, we've got an advertising platform. We're providing the platform for free for content providers. So if you're going to go and earn money by doing product placement and it's going to be a blatant commercial and there's going to be a logo up on the screen, we want to cut it out kind of earth-shattering news. Mm -hmm. So what Google is so so what Google and YouTube <laughs> so are doing. So that's now, kind of the, the gist of it. Yep. Um, but yeah, so it is really about paid. And if you have a, if like we do lower thirds like this, right? And sometimes we put. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> and sometimes we put like a sponsor logo there. Right. That is not acceptable on Correct. YouTube anymore. Any of the graphicals. <clears throat> Any graphical. Um, now a lot of people are upset and questioning, well, what happens if, oh yeah, like this behind me. <laughs> <laughs> this is not allowed. <laughs> um, so what happens if, you know, you, uh, if you do something with, about Coke or your favorite product and it's not paid, like how are they going to distinguish between paid and non-paid if they're going through with an algorithm and picking out logos already they're black they're blacking out just automatically yeah, some logos and so it's it's very kind mm -hmm. of uh, controversial right now because not everything is clear there's a lot of uncertainty about how they're going to enforce mm -hmm. it what does it really mean so for example you know the t-shirt that I'm wearing right. would this be a violation of the terms of service, or is this something they're going to allow us to still do? Right. I wore a Pepsi shirt on, on one of the shows yes, on, this week. You did. And so and I, will, I noticed that. Will that be an issue? It or wasn't blocked not? out. Right. So we'll see. So it's, it, it all very much is still up in the air, and we do have to uh, uh, keep an eye on it. But as a lot of people have asked about Geek Beat, now since we are part of the Discovery Network, uh, we have a bigger kind of contractual deal I guess with you know YouTube I, I don't know a, a lot of logistics but um, nothing will change with us for now as far as we understand it but it is a big issue for content creators uh, in large and as we learn more we will definitely keep you guys posted so that we'll try to keep you as up-to-date as possible on, on our understanding of what they're what they're asking for correct so all right so uh this week uh we <laughs> david foster uh did an episode where he geeked out about beards this is where we run the clip yeah <laughs> 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 so in the meantime, <laughs> I could have been taxed for having this manly man here. That's right. In 1698, Peter the Great of Russia actually ordered men to shave off their facial strands. In 1705, he created a tax on beards in hopes to make Russians look as unmanly as contemporary Europeans. Sorry, Steve Thompson. Maybe time to sport a beard. Are you psycho or something? <laughs> nice. So, okay. <laughs> so if you want to, if you if you have a beard or have ever thought about having a beard, uh, he kind of gave of the history of beards, which was actually pretty interesting. I a little bit no of history idea. buff, and yeah, it's something that comes and goes. It's the trends change over time. And yeah. Sometimes it's been political. Sometimes it's just been fashion. Apparently, I, I didn't know this. The proper way to wear a beard is without a mustache. Although right. I don't That's know that very many people, other than maybe like the Amish and. A few others actually do that anymore. Right. But apparently, that's technically correct. So, are you gonna uh, grow no, beard now? No, I'm going in the other direction. I'm oh. gonna, you know, I'm gonna put Ooh. together a a group of guys that are more like-minded. Shall I say, <laughs> <laughs> Mike Lartzis. Come on, buddy. <laughs> yeah, two of our hosts yep. uh, are bald uh, by choice. Yeah. And uh, mostly so. by choice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was trying to give it to you. I, I appreciate it, but I'm just gonna throw it out there. <laughs> So yeah, um, that that was an interesting look at, at beards this yeah. week. I, I had no idea you could really geek out about beards, but apparently, apparently you, you can. can. Um, <laughs> actually, one one comment from Annabel Perez. I've bounced back and forth over the years before settling on growing one, and it has been quite liberating. Even my sons are growing or working on them. Wow, oh, that's a thing. Now we'll see. You know, if David still sticks to his guns when we get in the middle of another hot Texas summer. Ah, it's been mild ah, last summer. That's true. You know, next year it could be a different story. He's so. from. He's from. Florida, so yeah. it's just gonna be new for them. All right. All right. Shall we uh, take, take a, a break. break? Let you guys work this out because uh, I see a little tension going here. You can please, have the cookie. Please don't fight. No, wait. No, you can't give away my cookie. <laughs> don't. It's get it's in the name of peace, the Callie. We're trying to keep the peace. It's not bait.
Good job. There you go. What's going on in the chat room? Uh, don't eat too many hamburgers or what? <laughs> I'll end up with hamburger buns. Serenity nice Rob says I'm not into kissing guys with beards. I'm not sure what he's trying to say there, but. He just doesn't like kissing guys with beards. I, you want to try? Oh, I don't either. Right, Scott? <laughs> not really. You want to? You want to give it so a much. try just no. to see what he's talking about? Not <laughs> at <laughs> all. I didn't think you'd do it. I've never kissed a guy without a beard. Uh, yes, I would murder you if you took my bacon. Steve is right. Scott Ellis, you nailed that segment. Well, thank Digital you, Digital Phil. Phil. Says. I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> We're having time, by the way. What's Daniel. That? We're very good in time. We are? Good. Yay! Are you doing this early? Are you trying to... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you messing with us, man? That's him stranding his beard hairs. Which one? <laughs> 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 he told me. He just said, I'm growing a beard. The one on the left. <laughs> <laughs> I got two weeks ago. Nice. <laughs> hey, David has said like before it's that his beard second. didn't really grow in in certain areas yeah, until like later in life. So here, you're going to be fine. Until the accident. Until the accident. Until the accident. <laughs> I don't even want to know about that. Yeah, what about Durin? Look at that, man. The yeah. Guy, the guy sneezes and he has five o'clock shadow. <laughs> He's the Homer Simpson of the <laughs> <laughs> You have a beard going on right now, somewhat at least. Or is that just a five o'clock shadow? It's going to be gone. Oh, okay. If he grows a beard. It, he gets mistaken a lot. This is <laughs> his freedom. Yeah. What about beards made of bacon? It's I would totally kiss just, that. It sounds like Dave is growing yeah. a beard. He's getting a little scruffy on us. Yeah. We're gonna come Looking in one good, day. Dave. And hold good. you down and shear you like a them? sheep. Do what? Are you using just for man touch of gray? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No. This is all natural. Mm -hmm. And look at this. This is like, I got these black stripes. Yeah, you have right like there. stripes. I'm so bringing my clippers and keeping them in my desk here. This is just going to be fun. You need to. I can strike a match. Oh, no, this. man. Hey, I have a knife. I'm going to come in and hogtie you one day and just shear you like a sheep. What? Thomas? Oh. <laughs> what, what do you say? Okay, never mind. All right. <laughs> Uh, Rami, Abby is in her room. You can watch her on the Abby cam, but the light is probably off at the mo uh, at the moment. Um. Yes, she needs her privacy. <laughs> 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 she was kind of. I don't know if you if you could hear her going at her a little. Uh, she was she was having a little bit of fun today. Okay. No, like, I did not. She was literally humping her little um, her bed. bed. Yeah, the uh. All of it. <laughs> Why am I like, seeing Christmas vacation? <laughs> Best to just let her finish. <laughs> oh, Steve, I'm sorry that you were sick. I hope you're feeling better. Oh, man. Where's the product placement? Well, we, we just found out about these rules like two weeks ago, so or two, two days ago, yesterday. Thankfully, we're, we're, we're covered under a different contract. Right. Uh, yeah. Do not show the logo on that water. Right. Don't show it. Huh? Like, could you just do it implied? Kind of like your beard is implied. <laughs> <laughs> like, my beard is implied. Like, it, the man, like, I don't need to be manly because I already, yeah, like, like, grow your eyebrows out. You know what? Beards <coughs> suck. I hate it. I've had to deal with them since sixth grade. <laughs> <laughs> he went to school. He got detention because he had a full beard in sixth grade. <laughs> like, um, BuzzFeed was doing this whole soda stream video and it was centered on the soda stream. You could pretty much tell that they paid them. And would that count as a commercial then? Or would that be content? Well, it depends on how we covered it. It's a fun video that they're doing fun stuff with the soda stream. But it's well, no, if, they're, if you're getting paid for it. I mean, they're also getting actually, actually, I mean, we're talking about, they're talking about like product placement and stuff like that. So if we, if we, if we took Peco Ricos and made an awesome video. If we're Bad Moon, I'm product placement? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Yeah, here we go. Uh, never mind. Yeah. Oh. Um, but we were talking about the, um, the the doing product placement where it fits into the, the content. Into the into the content you're doing. So if you're doing content and it happens that you're having fun with the soda stream, I mean, and next week it's having fun with you know a new right. knife, and next week it's having fun with Netflix. 
Yeah, or, <laughs> you know, a furniture dolly. It, there's going to be a lot of gray area, yeah. I suspect, that's going to yeah. have to get worked out. Yeah, yeah there are... <clears throat> yeah, right now there's just no telling. Yeah. Not super straightforward. Hey, but the good thing is, is you can always upload your videos to Facebook. Yeah. That's there's true. A, there's a fantastic community on Facebook. Well, Facebook is killing it right now with the videos, yeah. with Reddit. the video embeds. Reddit, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I imagine, uh, you know, there's a lot of questions about where those views are coming from if they're, you know, if they're not really counting or if they're not taking out duplicate views from the same person, um, you know, things like that. So that'll yeah. have to get worked out as well yeah. in order to be a really Viable. fleshed out. Views from the same person? I don't know. I don't you know. tell you me. Should, Social media sure. manager. What about Vine? Huh? Do you feed Vine? Do we have a Vine? Uh, there's one on the outside wall. I mean, you only technically <laughs> get paid per yeah, click. Yeah, I think a little round on YouTube videos. <laughs> what? If I'm correct, you only get paid per click for, on the YouTube videos. And the more views you have, the you more you the RPM. Yeah, YouTube. I thought it was impressions. It's impressions. So, I mean, if you see an interstitial ad or a pre-roll or whatever, that counts as an impression. So you're going to get paid on it. Also, they do a lot more CPM. They do a lot of CP cost per click on the It's ad. a mixture of both with YouTube, because if you click on that ad, then it goes out and stuff, but if you see that ad, that's still an ad impression. You're still getting brand awareness for Chrysler or whatever. But the thing is, usually, they don't, they don't pay for those, but whenever somebody <coughs> pays, you get five, ten dollars. Ah. So then it dilutes it back to a normal, like, two, three dollar RPM. Mm -hmm. there, Jacob, what do you mean you'll help with the Vine account? Oh, we should definitely get a Vine account. <laughs> I didn't even know Vine was still around. Oh, no, oh, it's yeah. huge. Is yeah. It, yeah. Is that low or? No. <laughs> Dude, that was rough. Wow. I, I think it's a little oh, bigger than, uh, than Just that. a little bigger than Ello yeah. at the moment. Vines are hanging in Foster's office. Ello is mellow, Ello. You know, I thought, I, I, I suspected that when Instagram launched video as a response to Vine, that it would kind of kill Vine because people would it just it, but it did not. No, people, yeah. I mean, like, kids watch that all the yeah. time. Yeah. I mean, it, it's... Yeah. The first end doesn't always mean you're going to win, though. A lot of times, no. it's, it's not the case. But they, they I mean, Vimeo so was first in, and YouTube, wasn't Vimeo before YouTube? No. Were they not? No, I don't well, know. Well, Google Plus was after Facebook. Like, right now, Twitter. Right. Speaking yeah. fine. Facebook was after MySpace, though. Yeah. In the case in point, right? Yeah. MySpace it's, was the first one out of the gate. The King yeah, but you know what? It was the implementation. I mean, that's... But the, my my, my point is, though... The implementation was, was correct off the bat. Like off of Twitter, everybody's sharing those Vine links like they are hotcakes. And I think it's probably because yeah. it was so unique, it was such a such a break from tradition that that, that and the implementation of it, I think, have, have made it to be the thing to kill. I think yeah. it's just the world has a killed. short attention span and it's oh, six seconds it. long. And <laughs> yeah. You get to scrolling down, like, like yeah. content, more content. It's yeah. Well, then you have people that have, have taken it to are creating content specifically for Vine and like mm -hmm. and you know the, the the things where he closes his book and a chicken pops out of it. You know, yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's man. That's some good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lowe, Lowe's out. Lowe's all that stuff. does these really cool how tos. Yes. On yes. Vine as well. Do are, they? Yeah, they're awesome. But like, there's a little kid that, that makes friends to his dad, and like he says, if I get twenty thousand revines, I'll drop a. An egg on my dad's head when he's sleeping. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, like, well, hey, that stuff that stuff existed with YouTube. Like people were doing if or no, it was it was Justin. Like if you if you if you you know you watch me, I'll do whatever you tell me to. <clears throat> That's ridiculous. All right, let's yeah. come back. You do that with John. <laughs> how how are we with? Time. He said we're good. Yeah. No, that, that's, a, that's a very subjective we're statement. Negative two, right? <laughs> like, we're negative two. We're negative two? And you timed out for 49, right? 48. 48. You timed out for 48? Because I thought 48 was our time. No, between 42 and 46. So let's oh. I thought it was 48. Oh man. So what are we supposed to be between? 42 and 46. Oh. Well, we can cut down a little well, on Q&A. We're Q &A. already down two, so. No, we it's, can. I cut down to 46 already. It's, it's okay. Okay. Yeah, don't, don't. So we just need to stick on Let's, schedule yeah. now. Okay. <sighs> it's harder than it sounds. Or a little Chilean yeah, it is. This thing. Is this whole thing <laughs> getting easier for you? Like, oh, yeah. With the paying attention to the different cameras a little bit. and all the chat yeah. room and the everything? A little bit. I, 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 the, the little red light does help. <laughs> I'm learning to notice that most, yeah. most of the time, except yeah, in the that, beginning. And you see it <laughs> when it's on. 
it, when it um, to the other not, no. Not as easily, not yet. Not like with the big cameras. What, you know, what I am getting better at is not getting completely distracted by the chat room. Yeah. Yeah, like you the first have couple to times like... I was here, I just wanted to like talk to everybody. <laughs> and, and, and can't answer every yeah. question. Yeah. So, yeah. You only talk to them when you want to. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, good. How, I'm curious. How do they like it? How like what? How are they liking the? Uh... They've barely seen anything. Yeah, we haven't yet, gotten that far. So let's, let's, let's give them a little. And... Yeah. Let's wait till the next segment. Let's give them a right hook. What do you say? All right. Let's do it. Ask for questions. Hashtag GU. That's a good question, Steve. Um, it's a very good it, question. Ben can grab that question and put it in our Q&A section that we're about to do. Ben's watching, right? I don't know if this auto updates. <laughs> it does not on, on mine. I've got to it close not. it and then reopen. Oh. Uh, questions at hashtag GBU. Oh yeah, you guys can ask for question, ask questions all throughout the week, and we'll ben gather them. That. Ben Raythig is monitoring it. We'll mm -hmm. gather them for each week um, for Q and A section. So just hashtag GBU. Hashtag. I missed that whole thing. Hashtag. Yeah, I know, but Come I was on. late to the game. That's cool. It's cool, dude. Hashtag that's, what? That's not GBU. The right way. Hello. Oh, that that's was my good. hashtag. It's, it's Oh, that's right. From the video. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's Jimmy right. Allen. Hey, Pug. <laughs> Say hi to Pug. Hey, Pug. <laughs> that's a good short name. We have female viewers in here, Atticus. Uh, Switching Granny. Uh, Space Bats. Hey, Switching Granny. Lady A. What's up? Hey, Switching Granny. So what is it? Hashtag GBU? Yes. GBU. We're gonna that that will be the new hashtag for like everything that we can gather because it's short. Yes. And it'll tie into some it's things. Easy. So we're gonna use that for everything. Up. Well, like if we're gathering questions or you okay. know if so. All right. I mean, yeah, Geekbeat will be still a hashtag, but you know. <clears throat> David, this is Scott. You know Scott. You've seen him on videos. Come on. Come on, David. I've been around a while. <laughs> You've been around for like three years, haven't you, on videos? Uh, on on camera, yeah. Yeah. I think the first well, appearance I mean, you've was about three longer, years ago. Yeah. Been around for about five total. Yeah. Yeah. Hard to believe. I'm probably appearing on vlogs and oh, stuff. Hey, my mom's on. Hi, mom. Hey, mom. <laughs> <laughs> you were just talking to her. I heard you say hi, I mom. I was. I was, and I told her I was going to be on the show today. So awesome. She dialed in or logged down. I'm glad you're here. Here we are. Scott's mom is awesome. <laughs> Simpai right. noticed me? <laughs> what is Simpai? Is that somebody in here? Simpai? Yeah. Simpai is, uh, you have a sensei who is the master and a senpai is the pupil. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make any sense. There can only ever be two, right? Yeah. Wait, that's a Sith, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> well, there can only be one. <laughs> Scott smiles. I do on occasion. <laughs> I try not to. <laughs> the harder I try not to, the worse it is. Though. No, we didn't just skip a segment. We're waiting on Dave Curley to tell us he's yep. ready. We're ready. We're ready. All right. You look like a Marine. I do. I don't, no, feel I don't like think a so. I don't think you. All right, welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, this is the beginning of a brand new segment that we have not done in the past. Part of the new well, format. We've kind of done it in ways, but okay. we're kind of structuring it. Okay. Q and A from you guys all throughout the week. We want to hear from you. You guys ask us questions all week long anyway, mm -hmm. um, and we answer them on social media and stuff. But we thought we'd make a fun little segment here on the show and answer your questions. So you guys are more part of this show because that's the way it should be. Who picks the questions? Ben Reithig is right. uh, on the team and he is paying attention to all your questions throughout the week. If you have questions, just use the hashtag GBU. Uh, that will become clearer in next week why we're using that hashtag. I will tell you all about it in a video coming up. What a tease. I all right. know. <laughs> should we get into the first question? Do it. All right, <clears throat> so Charles Phillips on Google Plus asked, 
what is the one tech you can't live without, and why and what tech you can live without. And Basically, what? Yeah. yeah. Like, why? Why, what can you and can't you live without, okay. right? That's the what he said. All right, so for me, <laughs> I mean, my phone is pretty hard to get rid of, right? Yeah. It's like the one thing that's attached to my body at all <laughs> times. Um, it's, it, yeah, I have a, a bit of an obsession with that. Um, so that'd probably be that. I'm pretty addicted to a lot of things like my up desk and um, yeah, uh, my tablets hard. and all sorts of stuff. But what tech can I live without? Yeah, if you had to let go of one thing, what would it be? It's a good question. Um, I would say a tablet. Interesting. I would I would be able to get rid of tablets because I don't use them all the time. Because yeah. my because my Note 4 is big enough that I kind of use it like a tablet, you do. right? Um, and don't you dare say use Watch the word I tablet. Me, I was so gonna throw that out there. there. Kylie, it's a tablone. Huh? It's a tablone. It's a what? Tablone. A bad one. A tablon, <laughs> right? Just as bad. <laughs> Just as bad. So you know that that's probably my two. What about you? Well, you kind of stole my thunder because I have exactly the same two. I, I, I my phone is used for everything, <clears throat> even uh, tracking workouts and stuff across the board. Yeah. Got to have my phone. Got to have. Um, it. But like you, I the only time I use my tablet on a regular basis is right here on the show. Right. Me Other, too. Otherwise, I'm typically. Um, you know, on my laptop or on my phone. Yeah. So all right. What I, could, are, I could live without it. What is it for you guys? Tell us in the, in the chat room. Um, all right. Bruce Reinhardt asks if subcutaneous technology implants would soon go into beta testing. Would the Geek Beat team start testing them? So we're talking about like RFID chips implanted in your skin or uh, brain implants that track and uh, that track you and give you information. I think I already have one. <laughs> no, I would sign up, depending on what it was and what it did. Yes. I'm very interested in the sort of man-machine interface as it is, and, you know, if it was the right technology, I, I would, I'd probably sign up. I'd go for it. What about you? I want to say I would, but, you know, the way, the way privacy is going these days, I'm, I'm a little concerned about that, yeah. um, about giving that information out. And, but at the same time, I would, I would definitely do something like, um, medical implants right. that allow me to get medicine if I needed it without having to go to the doctor all the time. That would be where I would head first, I think. But I w I'm very interested in those implanted technologies, so I don't know. I'd have to probably put a lot yeah, of thought into it. They have it. for uh, people with diabetes. They, they mm -hmm. have this little pump and stuff, and just when they need an insulin boost, it, Absolutely. It's yeah. They can do that. There's also things like cochlear implants for people that have Correct. hearing loss. Exactly. Would you do something like that if it just enhanced your hearing? If you didn't have any bad hearing, but it just gave you like super hearing? Well, you know, the whole thing about super hearing is that you get too much and then you go crazy. So yeah. probably not. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> uh, All how right, next you up. Start web shows and who was first, John or Callie, to come up with geek, uh, geek beat idea uh, from Rami. Um, so. Uh, I started back in 2005. I've been going at this for You're nine old years. I'm old, is what school. I am. Old school, not old. <laughs> so, yeah, one of the first video podcasts out there uh, as Apple released their very first uh, video podcast. And so I've been doing this a long time. John P. and I teamed up uh, with uh, actually Dave Curley, Dave Peterson were with me before uh, with my old show. Mm -hmm. And then we changed shows and the entire team kind of collected together uh, when in 2010, I believe it, it was. It was 2010. Okay. Yep. And then you, I mean, you were right around there at 2010, weren't you? I came you? on in 2010 as well, yeah. Yeah. So. so we've been going at this a long time. So, okay, let's uh, move let's, on because I yeah. don't have a show of my own other than this one. <laughs> Um, when are you visiting Orlando? This is Keith Barrett. He wants to know when we're coming to Orlando. Uh, Keith, uh, good old friend uh, from, Ke uh, from, from Florida. I uh, used to work at Disney World, actually. Oh, but really? But he just recently retired, so oh. I'm sad about that. But he will always keep his Disney spirit. Um, you got to buy tickets? Yeah, if you can, you get me back into Disney World, then I'll come. <laughs> That's a, I love Orlando. I will go back to Orlando anytime. I'm ready to roll. Let's, uh, let's, let's find it. a reason and let's get down there. In fact, uh, I posted uh, one of my old Disney pictures on Instagram today. Nice. So, Keith, go check it out. <laughs> Make you feel right at home. 
All right, the last question comes from Zalmi Rosenberg. Uh, Zalmi in the chat room. Uh, what's the one question you'll never answer? Very good question. Scott? And moving on. <laughs> Another uh, thing that happened this week. <laughs> <laughs> What's the one question you would never answer? This one. Okay, well you just answered it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, moving on. Uh, so, um, yeah, so the new uh, FAA rules that were proposed for drones this, this week um, really kind of sparked a controversy over Amazon mm -hmm. and their plans for Prime Air, which is a drone, fly a drone delivery service, essentially, if you order something like these wonderful Girl Scout cookies. Now, can you do that on Amazon? I bet I you cannot. Probably not. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, if you order something you can order on Amazon, it would be delivered to you via a drone which is kind of cool I think it's pretty neat um, not everybody agrees one of the comments that we got from Daniel said this is a, a, a not a great idea um, but I mm -hmm. actually Wait, meaning the FAA proposed rules or Amazon's prime air uh, the implication is he's saying that the Amazon's prime air oh. is not a good idea it's a waste of money for various reasons he doesn't right. doesn't think so however I think it's it's interesting if nothing else because one thing that Amazon has done consistently over the years and I don't know of anybody that does it better than them, is trying to take the, the consumer from the point of when I think I want something or I need something right. to not just to when I buy it, but to when I actually receive it. And they are just trying to shrink that down as much as they possibly can. So that as oh, soon as I, so as, <laughs> well, it's even better though, if I can just click on something and a short time later, it shows up at my house, right? So this is, <laughs> That's the idea, right. anyways. And I think this is just an extension of them experimenting with different things to how they can get that timeline as, as sure. short as possible. But the FAA um, yeah. did have some rules, and uh, you can see a clip of uh, my episode about that right here. So you might have been living under a rock if you have totally not judging as long as you're happy. <laughs> but you know that Amazon had big plans to have a Prime drone delivery program called Prime Air. This would be where you order something and the stuff comes flying in from above. And we'll, we'll just watch this. I should have probably looked at the clip that we were going to play, but essentially, because <laughs> I just repeated myself. <laughs> but um, yeah, so uh, the FAA is basically saying, you know, un under 20, uh, it has to be under 55 pounds. You have to have line of sight. Can't, can't fly over other float, people. Which is crazy. <laughs> so Pretty much, yeah. Graham Fox actually commented that it's actually very much needed, and these regulations come as a pleasant surprise from the FAA, which is not a common thought online. Nope. Uh, usually the FAA doesn't bring in uh, positive comments. So uh, it opens up a ton of possibilities for the civilian and private sectors. It's expected to allow us to catch up and surpass other countries, which we have had, you, which have had you have AVs for years now. So interesting side comment. There. It is interesting comment, interesting story. We'll see what comes out of it. I'm sure they'll try to find a way to work through this if they can, if right. they're serious about taking that drone fleet and, yeah. you know. Making it live. So I'm going to go during this commercial break and uh, play with my little uh, mini quadcopter and see if I can, since it's under 55 pounds, maybe deliver mm. things from office to office. I like bet you could cookies. fly that cookie all the way across the desk. I bet I could. I'm going to try. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Daniel, the FAA yeah. is pretty reasonable with this. A lot of people think so. Right. It's actually gotten some support. Yeah, I can't can't wear that Pepsi shirt, huh? <laughs> I'm curious to to what the no, FAA rules can. are for um, for like hobbyists <clears throat> that are uh, you know model airplane flyers. Well, airplane no, this just this is just commercial. Uh, okay, so if it's just for commercial, then you know we could use them to ferry things back and forth like carrier pigeons. Oh, like the owls in Harry Potter. Because um, it's not commercial. Right. So I could go up to a thousand feet and have it well, go there's still, over to your well, house. There are still rules right. for non-commercial. Yeah. Yeah. You can't, you can't interfere with um, like flight lines and sure. things like that. So I don't know what the, the altitude limits are, but yeah, there's still things that you can and cannot do even as a private citizen. I mean, think about it. We have you know, Addison Airport right up here. Oh, we yeah. could easily fly a drone into a plane. Yeah. 
you know. So oh, because they're flying real low. Yeah, I mean they're just yeah. taking off and coming right overhead. Right. So. The direction of the wind, they're flying a couple hundred feet above the office. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, guys, uh, asking for a check-in. We are going to do a check-in uh, here shortly, Later. so hang on tight. Yep. But we definitely want to hear from you guys. You bet. Uh, the rule says that you're not allowed to carry anything on the UAV ROG, ROG gamer. Uh, do you mean for the civilian or the commercial? <clears throat> All right. Would it still be a gray area anyways, if you think about it? Like... You can carry a camera, but if the camera is mounted... Well, it depends. I, I don't know. Why do I feel like Pablo just lives in the gray area? <laughs> <laughs> He's invincible and unaccountable right now. Uh -huh. uh, hey, you, Corey. I remember that time in my life. <laughs> Which, uh, do we... Oh, we're playing that this one from the beginning. Okay. Do you know what part of the clip you're watching? It's playing from the beginning. Have you, have you looked That's down? why I was looking. <laughs> have, you, have you looked down to a couple other stories real quick just to make sure? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> what? There's, a, there's, a, there's another clip or two. Yeah, you, oh. Have you double check those? It doesn't tell me anything. No. Um, I don't know what 133 to 209 means. We keep going over, but then we have another story before the commercials. And that we keeps. Like, go very under that, the second one. Okay. So, okay. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Ben. Out, I, yeah. <laughs> ben, can you tell me um, the uh, the story three? Um, the thing about HTTP two. Is that about HTTP two or one yes. of the other stories? No, it's HTTP, it's HTTP two. two. He's, he's basically given the, you know, the quick breakdown. Okay. All right, let's come back. All right. Okay. I got some new stuff for you guys. Let's um, get rocking. Coming in. What you? Sadly, it didn't work. Not that was so much. yeah. It was so, a good attempt, but it's just the cookie is in crumbles uh, now, yep, yep. and still um, tastes good. It still, still tastes it? good. Well, it dropped on the floor, but I picked it up within five seconds. So well, then it's it's you can still, I you still okay. have a bite. All right, I, mm -hmm. I'll just take a little bite there. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. Still good. You're lucky Abby wasn't here. That's true. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Because she's fast. That is true. She, she is, is very, very, very fast. fast, and she likes her food. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this week, uh, we, we talked about a lot of good stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, next week, we will actually be releasing a video, but we wanted to debut it for you guys here on live because you guys, again, like I said, you, know, you spend your time with us. And um, with this new format, we wanted to give you some content that you haven't seen this week, and uh, but that you'll get a preview of for coming up next week. So, take a look. Take a look. Hey, Geeks, Dave Foster here. Are you tired of not getting notifications of the pages you actually want to follow on Facebook? Well, I'm going to help you fix that right now. Welcome to Geek Beat. Okay, so I know on social networks, everything is different. Facebook's different than Google+, Twitter's different, and, and it's hard to get all the information that you want to get because they always try to put in these algorithms because they think they know us, but they really don't know us, and they end up, like for me, I always end up getting information from pages that I don't really care about uh, and not getting information from the ones that I actually do. So I'm going to show you how you can get um, the notifications from pages that you actually want to follow. So... And hopefully you want to follow us. Uh, so if you want process, to, which is actually, I've had a lot of people ask me, why aren't you posting on Facebook? Why aren't why aren't I seeing anything on Facebook? Right. So this is one of the reasons that he's decided to do this how to. And so you guys will be able to see all of that uh, coming up soon. I think Wednesday. Um, but it is a very confusing interface from time to time. Yeah, it's hard to tell. I have people that pop up in my Facebook stream once in a while that I haven't heard from in a long time. And so I'll intentionally like that, hoping that I'll see more of their stuff if it's somebody I want to hear from. Right. Um, but it's really hard to know whether or not you're going to get what you want. So, yeah, I'm interested to see that as well. Yeah. Um, 
And so let us know what other things that you guys are interested in how-tos. There will be a lot more how-tos coming up. Um, and uh, we can, whether that's Facebook, Google+, uh, how to crumble your cookie, whatever. Pick it. Anything you want, <laughs> we're going to try to make it happen. <laughs> Almost. And John, uh, John actually talked a little bit about HTTP2 this week, uh, explaining what that is. I, I hadn't even seen this until his show came out. I think the long and the short of it is the Internet's getting an upgrade. But nobody here can explain this better than John, so why don't we right. let him tell us what it's all about. HTTP2 is also fully multiplexed. Have you ever noticed that sometimes you try and load a web page and just nothing happens, but you refresh the browser and bang, the page appears? Yeah, that probably happened because HTTP sends out a request and waits for it to come back before anything else can happen. If it doesn't come back, everything waits. But HTTP2 doesn't have this limitation. It's like a super highway with infinite lanes. Lots of data can come and go at the same time and even change lanes. All right. So, so it's faster. Much, much faster. What does a, this mean for us? Well, it's going to mean faster web page loads, faster speeds across the board on the internet. It doesn't necessarily mean that everything will be exponentially faster, but you should notice a, a noticeable increase in speed and how things render in your browser. And I think they've already announced support in Firefox and Chrome. And I'm sure all the other browsers will come on board yeah. very quickly behind that. As a website designer and developer, do, does this is this going to affect anything that you have to do? Um, well, page speed is obviously something that's very important right. to us in every website that we design. So it, it does matter, but more than anything, what I'm interested in is how much faster does it make the things that we've already done. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the kind of the rule is that you've got only about three seconds to grab somebody's attention, and if you're taking three seconds just to load the page, you're going to lose them pretty quickly. Right. <laughs> On the other hand, um, if I can get a page to the same page to load in one second or less, and people can get into the content that they're looking for, then you know that makes a, a website more effective at whatever its purpose is. Okay. Of compression stuff? Yeah, there'll be there. I know one of the aspects of this is supposed to be header compression. Um, I, to be honest, I haven't looked at all the details. I think okay. they just announced it this week. Yeah, we'll definitely be looking into new. it and seeing how that is going to affect things. Okay. They, they were saying that the data is going to be binary. Right. So it's not going to be. It's not. It's not going to be like these protocol bits and pieces waiting for everything and all that. It's going to be. Just go yeah, so the binary. multiplexing means that it yes. can go back and forth at the yes. same time. It's yeah. it's, it's uh, in the old telecom days, what we thought of as sort of full duplex, where you had right. stuff going back and forth at the same time, not just in one direction. As general users, we don't often really think about this stuff. Um, you know, we just use the internet, right? So, uh, if you guys have any questions about how it might affect you or anything, leave a comment below. Uh, Geekbeat.tv. Well, I don't know the link for the YouTube <laughs> video is Geekbeat.tv/live160. <laughs> but uh, we'll be keeping an eye on that as well. All right. So is it time for me to finish the, the cookie eating? Yeah, but you probably don't want to do that in front of everybody. Why don't we? Give it to David. Yeah. Or not. Or you can give it to me. I'll take care Why of it. Why is there No, we were running short. Okay, because we didn't talk about the other stuff, like the, uh, like the UK banks using um, yeah, but the the intention was really just to kind of to tease the to video. Tease the I, video. I mean, not not fully go into all the stories. Okay. Which is which is if one thing. Like so. Uh, if we're running, if we're running short, right. That, that presents a problem. Oh, we won't run short. Believe me. I mean, because we have pl we have like so many unboxings okay. too. Um, so question. So we're, we're like mostly through the episode. We have a couple more segments to do. Uh, what are you guys thinking uh, about the, uh, the format and the changes? And uh, I'm, I can tell you one thing. The, uh, I think the, the how-to, we needed to play a little bit uh, more of the actual like how-to. I think that would probably be How much be do you want to give away better. though before... They get to see, I get think I think we should give them give them give it yeah. to them because they're watching. There's, and there's two different audiences. The, right. The Geeky Live people are not necessarily the daily people. Correct. These are people in some cases that find us only on YouTube or find us on cable. Right. And yeah. don't know about the other stuff we do. Yeah. Fair enough. Liking it, Gord? <laughs> um. Yeah. What if we also 
like compile other videos we find online, which may be viral. We do that every week. Yeah, but crazy videos, like the super viral videos. That's what we've been doing for the last two years. Well, in some cases, we've been showing. We've been showing. I mean, we show like some that. viral, yeah. but we don't. We don't really focus on it. Yeah. Um, like maybe do like a two-minute segment that yeah. incorporates. It could bring it different yeah. things that could. We could, well, yeah. I don't, I don't know that it'll really. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we could definitely. definitely. We, could, yeah. We, we could have viral our viral video of the week. Yeah. Yeah. Segment. Yeah. Something completely off. off right. Because and... I think people like that, like that ex different, different new thing. Yeah. Like ridiculousness. Yeah. All these shows on TV that basically still. Daniel TV. likes the new format. Just, Thank yeah. you, Daniel. Thanks. Uh, a lot of people are saying it, it's different, but good. Um, I'm a fan of the new episode. Hey, is that when you, you, you said, no, you said Brian. That That's Brian. 160. Who, no, Daniel, just keep me to TV slash live 160. <laughs> yeah. yeah, all of that information is being captured, all, all the links, so that you can watch them all. That guy, JD, wants to know when the next party is. Um, well, I hear a rumor that um, people who were here for the grand opening are planning a comeback oh, really? on August 1st. I don't know if there's the any, back together? I don't know if there's any truth to that, but that's what I hear from Digital Phil, which is a reliable source. Mm. That could be interesting. <laughs> you like the new Scott Ellis. Thank you, Oh, Digital the new Phil. Scott Ellis. Hey, you got the shot glass. That's true. What? Is he bringing fresh eggs for omelets in the morning? The who? After the party? Who? Who? Digital Phil. Oh, chickens. from his chickens. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I missed that. Fair enough, Jason. We could be egg beats or egg beats. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Eggbeat.tv. I I'm not I'm not saying there is an actual party here. I'm just saying that there was a rumor going around. I'm not necessarily planning anything, so nope. <laughs> <laughs> there won't be no party unless people bring the party here. <laughs> uh, and on YouTube, Justin AR likes the new format as well. Cool. He says, "What CMS do you prefer?" I'm Justin. I'm not. Are you targeting that at me? Or probably. Callie. Uh, probably you. No, I think it's since you. you were talking. <laughs> Oh, we use WordPress. Yeah, we use so. WordPress. The ninety-nine percent of my work is done on WordPress. Yeah, I do dabble in a few other things um, from time to time, but that's most of it. What's your opinion on Drupal and uh, Joomla? Yeah, I would have called you as a Drupal guy. Yeah, I, I actually I like Drupal. I have a lot of respect for what they've done. Um, it's just early on when I had to, I came out of enterprise content management, you know, the big iron stuff that we were building on. And when I was starting my business, I needed a CMS that I knew my customers would be able to use, manage to yeah. some degree and use when I handed off the website. Drupal was just far too complicated, especially at that point in time, and back in 2007, 2008 for most of them. Um, a lot of power, certainly a good platform, but I just, I, you know, I was, I took off my coder hat for a minute, put on my business hat and said, okay, what's really going to make sense for my customers? And, WordPress was the logical choice at that point in time. And it still remains to be a good one. I mean, it, it's interesting because I think Drupal has gotten easier to use, although I haven't really looked at it in a while. Um, WordPress has added a lot of power to what they can do now as well, so. Yeah, they've all kind of, if you look at Drupal, Joomla, and WordPress, they all kind of have stepped up the interface side to be more consumer. Yeah, and, and at the risk of offending you know, Joomla fans, I think Joomla got squeezed. I think they tried to be as user-friendly as WordPress, but not quite as much because they were also trying to be a bit more technical like Drupal. And they, it, you're trying to please everybody and they just didn't really, and I think they kind of got squeezed out by those guys. I'm not a fan of Joomla. I know some people who are, you know. Okay, but it's a great platform because it has everything baked in it, but it's... <laughs> That's part of the problem though, they too. They just launched a new one, like, kind of like yeah. Squarespace, where you build websites just on the there's an interesting, I can't remember the name of it offhand, but there's an interesting um, uh, website builder that uses artificial intelligence to continually evolve the I website. I've signed up for the beta. I'm super yeah. interested to see how it works, <laughs> but yeah, TBD. I, I, I looks up for the beta as well. looks, looks pretty cool. awesome. Yeah. yeah. So. Robots are Sounds interesting. Yeah, one way or another. No, they're not. 
They're just gonna calm down. Websites. Yeah, seriously, what's Jeez. the big deal? <laughs> Go shave. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Robert. Welcome. Did you just join us? Yes, Pug, uh, we are live most Fridays unless we're out of town or yeah. uh, on break or something, but uh, yeah. Out of cookies. Uh, will we fix the Pacific Coast timer? Like, I think our website has the, I think the sense of the time change, we haven't, our oh, we haven't adjusted live that? timer. Whose responsibility is that anyway? Um, I think that might be yours. <laughs> of course it would help if somebody told you. Yeah, because I usually miss the time change, to be honest. Yeah. Oh. Just at VS Ellis when, when you... I grew up in Indiana. It, you guys right. spent some time. Like, where they, di they didn't change time when I was growing up? Yeah. With everybody else? Yeah. Little, little known fact, Scott, me, and David are all from Indiana. Yeah. We, uh, we Rob are... some Hoosier blood. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> hey, I didn't see the end of the game. Does anybody know? Did IU beat Purdue last night? Where there was a game? Yeah. Basketball, baseball. <laughs> basketball. Come on. <laughs> I saw part of it and then I didn't get to see the end. Purdue one. Purdue one? Oh. Hey, he's what getting almost as fast as Carter. Oh, that was a close game. All right. Yes, we are a bunch now, of Hoosiers here. Now I'm going to have to have three beers tonight just to drown my sorrows. Daniel, anything we're excited to unbox? <laughs> I'm not even paying attention to your conversation That's about okay. that. I'm Talking sorry. Talking to myself over here. Yeah, <laughs> and Pablo. <laughs> I, mean, I, I will fix the countdown. Sorry. I don't even know. I don't even know what we've got to unbox. I see some yes. cool looking Stuff. things because right. we haven't. That's what. That's the whole thing. Point of unboxings, right? Don't fix it now. <laughs> oh no, he's not going to go fix it now. He can't do that because then I would have. I would be hostless. Yeah, and not not. I could probably do it on the iPad, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> you ready to come back? Dave's waiting on. Oh, the clock's changed soon. <laughs> oh, so I just leave it alone until it, you're right, it, fix. it'll fix itself. <laughs> I'll take credit for it. <laughs>to Geek Beat Live. I'm Callie. I'm Scott. And uh, we have a brand new segment for you again. Another new segment. <laughs> Getting off the rails. Next week I won't be able to say this. It's like new, 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 new. It'll be new-ish still. It'll still be new for a while. <laughs> so uh, this ho is called the Host's Corner um, where the two hosts up here and maybe we need a better name. I don't know. I just came up with that. But what do you guys think? What do you guys up, think? Help us come up with a name. Is there a better name than Host Corner? But this is maybe we have to tell them what it is first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is all about <clears throat> the passions of the two hosts. What is it that we're excited about this week? Um, what are we using this week? That's uh, kind of getting into our workflow. What are we thinking? It, it, Really, there's no description for Host Corner. It's really just the passions of the hosts and whatever that means to Scott, to me, to David, to John, to whoever. Um, and so it'll be kind of open to interpretation. So we kick it off with you, Scott. All right. What has been floating your boat this week? I'm doing the first of the first one. <laughs> I have gotten really sucked in and I have been having a ton of fun on Cyberdust. Cyberdust. Have you used Cyberdust? No, I don't even know what that is. So it's an app. It's okay. mobile only. Um, and it's basically a, an instant messaging type of platform, but it's uh, it gives you some additional capability. So you can do things like blast a, a tweet out, or a not a tweet, <laughs> a dust out to groups of people. You can have lists, so you can kind of segment who you're sending things to. But it's really designed around uh, security and privacy. So when you send a, a message to somebody and they receive it, once they look at it and they leave, it disappears. And it's not, it does not, Wait, sta it's not saved on the Snapchat? hard drive. Um, it's, it, <laughs> it, 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 I think it does have some similarities. I've actually never used Snapchat. Okay. Um, but I don't know if it does the same level of security with what they're doing with CyberDust. Um, and nothing is ever stored on the hard drive. Uh, there have been a couple of forensic people that have gone through and tried to do recovery to see if they could get anything out of CyberDust. Uh, they really were not able to retrieve anything meaningful. Interesting. Um, the, the closest they came was on um, Android, certain Android devices, by looking at the key logger, but not anything actually out of the app itself. On iPhone, they got nothing. Huh. So it's, it's very secure. Um, if you want to share information, 
Uh, it's, it's a great way to communicate. And interestingly, there's a, a really robust community that is building up there of people on, in, that are interested in different things. And I've just been, I've been having a lot of fun with it. I've been sharing stuff out there and getting responses and meeting some new people. And I've actually got a little bit of work possibly through, through somebody it? this week via CyberDust that was huh. looking for help with some web stuff. So it's, it's been fun. It's been interesting. And it's, it's at that stage where it's still very small. It's a very tight-knit community. So you don't have um, you know, kind of the overwhelm of some right. of the bigger bigger ones. So you can really kind of get out there. And it's it's backed by Mark Cuban. Oh, okay. And he's all over it. You'll hear from him almost every day if you're on there. And he uh, shares some good <clears throat> stuff. So oh, wait, so how do you pick your people? Um, a lot of people are, are recommending other people. Okay. Um, and then you can go out there and just there's ways to search. So if you wanted to connect with me on CyberDust, I'm VS Ellis, the same way I am just about everywhere. everywhere. Um, so as a and I'll, spy, I'll give you some people to recommend. And well, you know I'm a spy, right? You're a so spy. I should use that in I my remember spy when duties. You punched me, and you were dressed up like a spy. <laughs> <laughs> there was that. Yeah. There, there was the pretend. We yeah. don't have that clip, fortunately. No, but. we don't. <laughs> that sounds really cool. Yeah, it is. It's interesting, and it's it's a good way to communicate, especially if you have something confidential to share, yeah. and you don't want to worry about it lingering out there. I love it. It's good stuff. I'm going to download it. Right, is so it my, iOS and Android? Yes, okay. and Windows Phone. Okay. So, all across the board. So go find me. Um, my the next thing I found this week, I actually so CyberDust was my passion this week. I found something else that was your passion this week, and I wanted to share it with everybody. Oh, really? Yeah. So, a, a, a Japanese inventor has created a new robot. Japanese we are all, good at that. We all know how much Callie loves robots. <laughs> Uh, Wait, is this it? Check this out. This is this is. Oh, is it? It's on the. Oh, that's so cute. Check him out, though. It is a robot that you wear <clears throat> that feeds you tomatoes <laughs> while you run. <laughs> Wait, what? Hang on, they're doing an ad. Nice. We have to watch an ad. No. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't know how big a need in the market there really is for this robot, but it certainly caught my attention, and I thought, hey, it's a robot, Callie's gonna love it. So it and just like, do you like tomatoes? Shoulders. Ah. While you run? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I would like tomatoes more while I'm running. Maybe so. Maybe if they're being shoved down my throat, I would eat them. <laughs> but actually, like the robot pulls it out of the container and then brings it down. The little arms bring it down to your mouth so you can just eat it out of its hands <laughs> while you're running. So That's hilarious. I, it, you know, why so not? So I have a question. Check this out. Look at this. Oh. this is awesome. But it looks like it doesn't have to be tomatoes, right? Well, it it's designed for tomatoes. I mean, look at his well, head. It's a tomato. <laughs> <laughs> that is I just love it. <laughs> they, they really will do just about anything. Wait, I have a question. Who picks the tomatoes? You have to go uh, and pick your own I think you have tomatoes. to go buy your own tomatoes, but this guy's committed to uh, wearing one for a, a marathon coming up in, in Japan. So. Oh, so it's a marathon robot. Yeah. That is... Hilarious. <laughs> They're having a the press conference. How many thing. tomatoes will it fit? I, because you can't eat too many tomatoes. You can't well, you don't have wanna, too many you, juices while running. You don't want to yeah, gorge yourself on tomatoes while you're running, but you know. That's probably not very comfortable. That is hilarious. <laughs> and does it really stay on? It, it must. It was designed for running, but you know, we'll see if we can get one in here and you can try it out. Okay. I will try that. All right. You're up. What <clears throat> has uh, got your interest this week? Well, it was a robots this week. Oh. I've got to tell you that, but that, that really was kind of cool. So uh, this week I, I've been learning something about myself and about people in general. Um, so I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, a lot of you, I think it came out this week, the uh, interview I did with Michael Artsis. Mm -hmm. um, you probably haven't had time to watch that, but I got a lot of good feedback on that. Um, and it's on Be Terrific. And uh, one of the things that we talked about was how I'm Callie and Luria <laughs> all at the same time. For those of you who aren't familiar, I have, um, uh, my real name is Luria Petrucci and I go by Callie Lewis on, uh, online. And, you know, it got me thinking after the interview, because I don't really talk about that a whole lot, um, but I am very honest about it if it ever comes up. I've never really hidden Luria, but at the same time, I have kind of realized that I have been hiding behind Callie uh, for the last several years. Mm -hmm. I've been kind of hiding the real me, which is kind of hard to explain, right? Because who you see on camera is me. I'm not 
you know, playing a role or anything like that. It, I'm authentic, I'm, I'm me, but at the same time, the whole Cali uh, scenario uh, has kind of um, forced me into a bubble, like me, the real Luria, mm -hmm. who likes to you know, go outdoors and paddle boarding and hiking and um, all the different things that I do. And so over the last year, I've kind of realized that I'm, I've kind of gone into this little bubble and I'm like, as Callie, I'm, I'm very outgoing, but the real Luria is kind of shy. And so, you know, this whole conversation really struck home with you guys, and I had a lot of feedback on that. Um, and so I just kind of wanted to talk about it because the other thing that happened this week was, um, as, as Luria, I, I don't really feel quite comfortable sharing certain things, like my relationship. Mm -hmm. I've always been very kind of hidden about that um, and uh, other things. And so David and I actually started a blog recently, which I had intended to not even talk about ever. Like it was really just something that we did just to kind of mm -hmm. capture our journey, right? And you right? did this as Luria. As Luria. Okay. Um, and uh, I haven't really shared it with anybody or anything like that, but a viewer found it. I don't know how, <laughs> I have no idea how. But what was interesting was um, they, they emailed me and I won't share the, the actual story for their privacy sake, but um, the words that we had on the blog uh, actually helped him through some really tough times and um, a big major life change for him. And that certainly wasn't intentional, it was uh, accidental. Um, but it really meant a lot to me because it kind of reminded me that, you know, we all kind of force ourselves into playing somebody else from time to time when it comes to um, pleasing other people mm -hmm. and to fit into uh, society standards or any of that kind of th thing. And I realized that, you know, you really kind of have to step out and you do things and because when you do things that are you, and when you do things that mean something to you, they can actually touch people's lives. Um, and I think that's important for us to kind of remember as we go through life. All right, one quick question. Yeah. So since you've had this realization, mm -hmm. it sounds like a good one, what does that mean for you going forward? Well, <laughs> I actually Not have- Not to put you on the spot or yeah, anything. Yeah, no. <laughs> I've, I've actually considered um, coming out as Luria, like, Kind of getting ready to Cali, but that's not. I'm not. I'm not really going there yet. I, I've kind of Luria's been a very thinking name, about but it, but Cali is the brand that I have spent nine years yep. to uh, to build. So that's probably not something I'm going to do like right now or anything. Okay. But um, I don't know. It has. It has been. You know, a thought of mine. But at the same time, um, it doesn't really mean anything except just more comfort with who I am. Well, right on. And that, I think, is something that probably a lot of people um, need to be reminded of, because we all, we all have those struggles, right? Yes, we do. So, very, very non-geeky host corner this week. No, but it's a good one. <laughs> I'm sure everybody appreciates that, so. So, I don't know, what about you guys? Do you, do you feel like you hide yourself? Do you feel like you um, kind of play a, a character for the work environment or for, um, for the people in your life to, to accept you, um, stop it <laughs> if you do. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. So would, would, a, would a part of this, this new, I guess, part of your persona that's being let out into the world include the new, slightly more whimsical profile picture? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does, actually. Yeah, I've, um, I've kind of always focused on having very proper profile pictures. Mm -hmm. um, but <laughs> digital <laughs> fill. <laughs> Love it. But actually, Moritz took a photo. Uh, Moritz talks to from Google. Mm -hmm. uh, while he was here recently, he took a picture of um, me. It's actually a picture of me and David when we were walking to the state fair. But you know, where's there is the actual Handing photo? It up a little bit. Yeah. Is that the photo? There it is. That, oh, okay. No, this is no, the. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's, <laughs> <laughs> Who did that? 
Oh, wow. Somebody's having Oh, fun. Digital Phil. That is Digital Phil's work. Oh, nice. classic. Yeah, that's... Um, so, <laughs> um, you know, that's the one. There you go. Um, and just, you know, having a little bit more fun, um, being kind of uh, more me uh, on my social profiles as well. And, and that's, you know, that's the thing that kind of got me to this realization that when I do those little things from time to time, people really react, like, hugely to it. Yep. Um, and it got me thinking that maybe I should just be fully me yeah, as opposed to try and be proper all the time. I like it. So. That's the face I make when I photobomb people, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was photobombing. Were you? Yeah. It was, it was a picture Lovely. of David and he had no idea the photo was being taken. And so I was just like See? getting out there. <laughs> Saw that coming. <laughs> all right. So, um, I guess we'll go to commercial break. Uh, we'll chat uh, in the live chat room. Uh, for your TV audience uh, about all of that, uh, and then we'll be back. See you soon. How are we on time? <laughs> uh, did I go way over? A um, little bit. A little bit. How, my segment went over? I had four minutes. On and on. I had four minutes, right? On and on. Shut up. On and on. <laughs> <laughs> are you missing a significant digit there? Who crushed that cookie? <laughs> the quadcopter. What quadcopter? There was a quadcopter when I was going? <laughs> no. Uh, you dozed off. <laughs> yeah. No, I did go to the office. I just, you know. <laughs> yeah, IT Serenity Rob, if people love you or hate you, then just be with, you know, be who you are and let the people not be around you if they hate you. <laughs> what? Don't, don't be around people that hate you. Right. <laughs> why, why do it, right? Don't go eat with people who love you. And you know, I think um, I think part of uh, part of uh, that kind of bubble, if we call it that, is um, what is is YouTube is like comments, right? Sure, I've been yeah. I've been it's living comments. online for nine years, yeah. like publicly, and <clears throat> comments really can get to you and and kind of force you into something and. That's one the of the people reasons. around you can have an effect on that, and you know you really just have to be true to who you are. That's one of the reasons that we we don't have any uh, reservations about deleting comments. Right. You know. True. It's 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 our channel, and and if the comments are helpful, that's one thing. But if right. the comments are, you know, rude, then right. I mean, get out of here because some people are going. Well, we there's we a should lot of we should dismiss them mentally, internally. You know, you need to lose ten pounds, you know, or something like that. Then you know, why even let that stay out there? Correct. Well, there's a lot of, like, with the new hosts, it's, 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 people are kind of, you know... Yeah, who's that guy? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And how does it make, like, how did it make you feel at first? Did it bother um, you at all, or...? I wouldn't say it really bothered me. I tend to come to this with pretty thick skin, and yeah, that's and, and I was I was able to watch... <laughs> oh. <laughs> what did he just do? <laughs> I was I was able to kind of watch effect. John go through that transition and right. how he sort of dealt with that, so I knew it was coming. Yeah. Um, but I've and also to be had, honest, it hasn't been as harsh with you guys. No, but I, I've also had an advantage in that I've been around so long that I've just had had appearances here and there. So people have at least a lot of people have known who I was with respect to Livid Lobster, and right. as I started doing more, I think it was a little bit easier to digest. Yeah. So, but yeah, um, you can get to you. Vimini, uh, actually, uh, very good point. I think having a brand persona separate from your actual persona is probably best for separation of work and life. But here's the thing. So for so that's that's kind of one of the reasons I. I not did it originally. It was really just a name thing because Luria Petrucci people can't say yeah, for the it, life of them. Yeah. Um, like right. It's like, it's like Pose Zidis, That's right. Correct. And that's why he goes by John P. Right. Right. Um, but I found because I was work because I spent the last nine years just working, mm -hmm. like with the exception of fairly recently. So we've um, been slacking off. I know. <laughs> I haven't been slacking off. I've been rejuvenating. <laughs> What is it, what is it that Gio said, said as soon as you started dating him, it's like your your brandability just went right through the floor. <laughs> right. But you know, I just playing. I think I that's you. that's part of what I, I, I started to do was was separate um, personal from work, but then I was working like twenty four seven and so I kinda lost Luria, right? Um, so anyway, that just to answer that question. We don't have to keep you talking find, about you, this. You but. find that you have to live up to the expectations people have of Cali. Right. And and meet those expectations. And 
literally take some of your some of the things that you have, things that you like, things that are um, uh, whether it's a hobby or something like that, or your thoughts or your beliefs. You got to you got to you got to segment those off and keep them completely to yourself because it may offend somebody. Whereas if you just be yourself, then you're going to attract the people who like you. Right. And then that's going to be better for you, for the brand, for everything like that. It's just you attract those who like you. And when I meet people in public and stuff, which, by the way, if you ever see me, I love to meet everybody, um, as, as do, do all yeah. these guys. Come down to the gun range. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's the, that's the most commented thing on is, is when they do meet me, they're like, you're the same person. I expected you to be different. Um, and they so expect it you is... to have a, have, a, have a piece of bacon in your hand. <laughs> and a microphone in the other. And and... So, in the other. <laughs> so there is this, you know, I am the same person, but at the same time, you kind of, you kind of perfect yourself to be public. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah, because if you start painting, like building facades, then people, like, you have to build them up and keep them up. It, it takes a lot. Yeah, of it, it really it does. Gives you a, gives you you a, have a to work way at to it fall so when you, you make a mistake. Correct. Yeah. You, yeah, you become an expert at faking stuff rather than being yourself. Right. Yeah. Then you end up being. And a you typical know, Hollywood kind of person, <laughs> right? Yeah. And, and you know, I, I have, I, I literally have, uh, for many reasons, become good at faking um, because, like, you'll know, you'll, you'll not even, <laughs> you'll, you'll not even know Just, if I'm having a bad hey, day hey, when hey, I hey, keep, hey, going, hey. keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You'll not even know <laughs> that I'm having a bad day when Dude, I come on I'm, camera because <laughs> that's my job, right? Is to put all that stuff away. Um, but then that bleeds into other pieces of your life. So, and nice. The knives have come out. Wow, all the <laughs> knives have come out. Hey, you gotta do that. What the? <laughs> it's not very sharp. Yeah, come yeah. on. Like, look at this. Michael, look at this. we enjoyed Dang. meeting you too. Oh, oh my yeah. god, do no, that to camera. Poke. Don't it'll do poke. that. Don't. <laughs> on camera. Dude, that's the, that that thing. knife. Oh my god, that thing is sharp now. Shave your face with. We should sharpen these. Hmm. Yeah, my sharpener's over by hey, the. Yeah, I don't know about that one. <laughs> but Kylie, have you ever opened a butterfly knife? Yes. I the right, right way. Had never. The right way. <laughs> the right way. Yeah, you're supposed to be like those guys in the 80s movies. Yeah, no, I haven't done that. Beat it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's great. I want a stiletto, man. Daniel, is this what you expected Host Switch Corner to spiral into? Because I like it. Jutting one. Um, flipping. I expect yeah. it to be whatever the host <laughs> wants to say or share. Yep. Yeah. So actually, that the, the question earlier, now that you guys have seen a Correct. Host's Corner, was... Is Host Corner a good name for it? Should we call it something else? Do you like the openness of it and not, you know, having any uh, any boundaries? Any should, boundaries? We have, should we have some endearing music queued up for when you start? <laughs> when I start going yeah, off on you know, a tangent? Yeah, get camera move when it kind of pushes in on you. It's real soft, very Barbara Walters. Paul says we can Paul come, up with, we can come up with a better name. Fair enough. Right. <laughs> Geek time. <laughs> call it Ipanema. Hostpedia. We need elevator music, yeah. <laughs> Weekly obsessions. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Weekly obsessions. New obsessions. That I has like an it. interesting implication. Yeah. Like that, right. That, that Rants and raves. That, that co-ed at the oh, Kinko store. Editors. Yeah. <laughs> a digital film. Editors picks is interesting, but we're not really picking stories right. so much. It's just kind of a random. Random assortment of passion. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like that's what it's really about to, to me is the is the passion of the host. Um, so, so the passion of the you host? could be talking you could be talking <laughs> about something really robotic and he could come in and start Bad talking jokes. about a uh, a new wine he found this week. Oh yeah, oh you know. Oh, yeah, shoot, that, that, that my, would be that would be line? great. <laughs> yeah, there you go. He was like, oh man, I didn't think about is doing it, that. Is it bad to do the same one every week if it's a different wine? No, not at all. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Cigar reviews. I'd rather do wine reviews. Violins needed in the background. Cigars Geek could be emissions. interesting, but I wouldn't know enough about the the differences. Thoughts, we could like, learn together. Dave, if Wait. you touch me one more time, <laughs> I'm going to take that knife, <laughs> put it in places you don't know you have. <laughs> Should we unbox some stuff? Oh, we... Not yet, not yet. <laughs> You're about to unbox yourself out of your skin. Right? So um, I just want it on the record that whenever you do your segments mm -hmm. that I want to be on camera with you because I'm assuming that those would include tastings. Of course. <laughs> Now, are, well, are, we can we do that on, on the show? Yes, of course. Well, yeah, of course. We're gonna follow, we're gonna I don't think there are any TV rules, right? Radio, radio and, and television rules is that the host can, can be drinking and doing whatever like that. The person operating the equipment, like in radio, can't because you can't have a drunk operator for oh, an emergency broadcast. Right. So we can get 
No, oh, Dignation, for example, like right? The Today Show. You get the what? I like it. There's two ladies on the Today Show. Yeah. I haven't watched the Today they Show. On there. They, they, they or, uh, like 10 o'clock in the morning. Or, nice. Uh, uh, That's Santa awesome. Or at the uh, State of the Union. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Just, just an R. Geekasm. <laughs> yeah. Geekasm. Geek That's actually a That's great name. That's actually a really name. good name. Wow. Is that, yeah. is that too because edgy for us like, or can we? I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Oh, just an AR. It's a good name. That's a good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe not. Vimini, know. yeah, I am definitely not a sommelier. I He's love almost, my vino. He's but, almost yeah, there. That's, that's hardcore. I haven't post, gone post. there. So. But you have to like study and take tests for that. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. Oh, well, we can Gary's put these away. Can teach us some stuff. What? Gary can teach us some About stuff. wine? About wine. Yeah. Somalia guy. He's Somalia guy. <laughs> He's one of those. I don't think you need to add, add um, guy to Somalia. Somalia riser? Somalia. Somalia, I think is enough. Uh, yeah. Ellis Vino time. I'm, yeah, I think that, we have your new, your new name. <laughs> we could actually put a little corner like back over here, you know, where it's like a wine, uh, you know, like a wine barrel, and and you can like open stuff, and we get. That's what you tell everybody what VSL is. Vino SL. <laughs> Vino V is in Vino. Texas Tweak, why did your week suck? And I I'm glad that we were actually a part of. Uh, <laughs> Rob. Part of becoming because of making it better. <laughs> you know, Daniel, I I think a, a wine teaching series would be fun and interesting. It's so different from anything that we normally do. I don't know if that would make sense or Yeah, because you geek, I mean, it's geeky. It's, it is, it, it is. It's just a passion or, right. I mean, I would be interested in that. I'll do it if I can get Gary V on the show with me, because that man knows his stuff. He would yeah, come on every once in a while, I'm sure. So yeah. I can probably push those buttons. Drinking peace tea at the moment, nice. Did he need something? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> no, what time is it? I have to get a watch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 4.50. 10 till already? 5. All right. We've been going for a let's while. Put our, let's put our gonna, yeah. tablets away. Doesn't your uh, date start at 5.30? Yes. I have a date with his wife. <laughs> now I have a date with a stair climber. What does that mean? <laughs> Some people's YouTube comments can't be harsh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's are girls' night. The then Girls are going to go eat and drink. I'm going to go work out. <laughs> Okay, so Wait, what? I'm sorry, were you talking to me, Paul? Yeah, sort of. Uh, we have a check-in with a check-in right after, and then... And then unboxing? Yeah. How are we doing on time? We are good if we stay for uh, three minutes for the check-in, and then we've got eight minutes for this. Oh, really? Yeah, but don't stress the check-in if you don't need to. No, no. Yeah. I think we can do it under yeah. three. Ask them if they're ready for it. <clears throat> cool. Are you guys ready for the check-in? Not now! But if uh, we're, when we come back from the, the break, Get we're going to do a check-in. Yes, thank you, Rami. Thank you, Ben. That's very nice. What did Ben say? Where is said he? Wendy Ellis ah. is awesome. Oh, Wendy Ellis. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Close enough. Hmm. What? Callie at geekbeat.tv. No such user here. Got a kickback on your email. Ooh. Nice. Seriously? You don't exist. No, I was wondering why my, all my emails kind of like stopped today. Oh, you want to go that would be engineering? Yes, yeah. please. Engineering, I like that. Did, that's it's weird. Yeah. That's really what was happening with mine for a while. Hey, mine's not oh. sending stuff either, or getting stuff. You're stopped sending? Maybe that's why. Well, I, I just sent it to Pablo at Geek Beat. And it's not even going? Okay. See, I'm using so maybe all the Geek Beats? Works. <laughs> we could just set up a, for, a simple forward. Kelly's email also has an alias. <laughs> oh, I love you, Babbage. <laughs> that tomato Texas. robot was awesome. I'm sorry. That's, that freaking that is was. so freaking like random. Double fisting it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> have you heard of uh, the little building blocks, the toy metal toys? No. It looks like a kind of project gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Wait, Cobblin is here? Who? What? Scott Cubby. Cubby, Cubby isn't Cubby. here. Cubby! What you doing here? Hi. How is, um, where are you in the middle of nowhere? He's in North Carolina. <laughs> no, he's not North Carolina. South Carolina. South Carolina. Georgia. 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 South Carolina. No, 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 I think he's in South Carolina. He's South Carolina. In, uh, Charleston, if I remember correctly. Well, he's in some island. He's on Charlotte. some island. Oh. Literally. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he's, his life is 
on an island, which I'm quite jealous of. Charleston, yeah, Charleston. Oh, which is a beautiful okay. little town. Do you live in Charleston and then go work on the island? Maybe that's what If you would answer yeah. my texts every once in a while, you, I might know these yeah, things. Right? Like he just, he left us and he just forgot about us yeah. until today. Yeah, when he left, Cubby. Oh, He's too busy on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Has anyone I don't know. Talking to Cubby. Okay. Are we ready? Okay. He said yes, but now I don't remember the question. <laughs> yeah, we asked a bunch of questions. Yes, he lives in Charleston and, yes. and goes to the oh, island. Yeah, yeah. I think that's, that's what right. it was. All right. Oh, Kiowa Island. Right. Is that how you say it? Kiowa. 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 <laughs> so, um, speaking of pranks, yeah. Uh, no, he didn't, he didn't get banished. Go for it. <laughs> You're going to work it off on the gym. <laughs> um, I don't remember what I was talking about. There's still purple ink on the floor. I'm taking those home. Oh, that's right. So, okay, David moved out of the office where you pranked him with your purple, um, purple ink, and uh, it is all over the floor. I don't know how it got there. But we're blaming the guy in there now. He's the new guy. Right. So we have a, a renter in there at the moment, and. Um, <laughs> Before I could yeah. get it and sweep it up or clean it. He just moved on in and so we didn't get to like fix it. Yeah. So, so now um we for a big mess. Yeah. Like dude, you just barely got It's going to come out of his deposit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We haven't had any big pranks since Cubby left. Yeah. We're grown. Well, no, we did. Did you see David's office? Did he take his ass spray with him? The the I things that Geo pranked him. He's a hippie. Geo. <laughs> Sure. What is that? Geo, Geo is... pranked the girls' bathroom a long time ago. Yeah, and I totally didn't even know. <laughs> the sound, the noisemaker? Yeah, the, the noisemaker. Noise no, you did. Because Geo put it in my office right. and it was there for like a couple of months and I got sick of it. Now it sounds like somebody leaning back in an old office chair. Yeah. yeah. So I thought, when I took it down, I was like, okay, where am I going to put this? I'm like, is it still the in girls' there? restroom. The girls rest it is. <laughs> Is it still going? Yes. I actually walked by about a week ago and I heard it make a noise and I was like, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> See, I would know what it is because I was I yeah. was around for all that, but if somebody if like a guest is coming in. Yeah, they're just doing uh, yeah. quietly checking their email. Yeah. All of a sudden they hear <laughs> like, what the? You can imagine, you know, somebody goes in to use the bathroom and all of a sudden they hear, Hey, can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> can I come out now? <laughs> Opening the closet door, closet doors. <laughs> yeah, are they gone? <laughs> uh, five break. We're spending a lot of time in commercial break. That's probably why it seems long. We are dragging on so, the commercial okay. breaks. Okay, let's let's we'll get try going. Not to have fun with you guys. Anymore. Rami, we did actually answer your question in Q and A. So look for that um, on the replay. Okay. All right, let's go stab some boxes. Stab boxes time. What are we doing check first? In. Check in. Uh, right? Check in. Yeah. Can we rename the segment from unboxing to stab, stabbing boxes? Yeah. Getting cut. Do you have the, the horror? Yeah, the, that may not be a good idea. The horror music. The ee <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. Welcome back. I'm excited because it's the, it's the best part of the show. It's this is Christmas. so fun. It's unboxing time, but not before we talk to you guys and hear about where you're from. So it's oh, yeah. check-in time. That's fun, too. For those of you watching on TV, um, you may not know, but probably you figured it out by now. We do this show live online every Friday. And uh, so people are joining us from all over the place. So we like to hear about where you guys are joining us from. Where so it starts now because they're going. Oh, here we go. Uh, St. George, Utah, Arizona, uh, Liverpool, New York. Uh, Kiowa Island, South Carolina, New, New York City, City, New York, Fort Prosper, Burke, Texas. California, Death Valley, California, Drammen, Norway, Austin, Texas, uh, <laughs> Denmark. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even trying to say that. Lancashire, UK. Um, outside of Frozen Bean Town, Lancashire, Kentucky. Uh, Cleveland, Ohio, Frozen Lakes region of New, New Hampshire, Somerville, New Jersey, Wolverhampton, UK, Crystal Ball, Venezuela, <laughs> North Devon, UK, Algeria, uh, Frisco, Calgary, Texas, Alberta, Irving, uh, Texas. Spokane, Perth, Australia, St. George, Utah, El Centro, California. Halifax, Nova Scotia. Did you already say Irving? Yes. Toronto-ish, California. Cal Simba Valley, Canada. California. Send us some wine. <laughs> Gothenburg, <laughs> Sweden. Fallbrook, California. Mon Gothenburg, Sweden. Ut Fallbrook, California. What? 
Slovenia, Wisconsin. Mackenzie, uh, British Columbia, Canada, Copenhagen, Denmark. Slo oh, you just Sorsum. said Slovenia. Are Norway. you jumping? You're jumping. I, 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 <laughs> I don't I gotta know where keep you it are. Going. <laughs> Denmark. Um, Robotlandia, Selden, New York, Long Island, uh, Cleveland, Ohio, by way of Houston. De Leon, Texas. Nice. Amatra, Finland, Fief, UK. The Milky Way. <laughs> Online. <laughs> Clarksville, Tennessee, Kennesaw, Georgia. Northeast Winchester. <laughs> I know, Gord. I said California instead of Canada. That's Canaba, I don't know. Michigan. Wow, nice. I don't know who that is. Um, Spokane, Washington. Is that your mom? <laughs> well, it looks like the same one, but I don't think so. That would probably be my aunt. Uh, <laughs> oh, so I can't even say that. Servij. Um, Next. Yeah. <laughs> Negros, Mexico. Wow. Waterloo, Cordoba, Argentina. Ontario. Sulphur, Louisiana. Cordoba, Argentina. Waterloo, Ontario. Mexico. I did. Sulphur, Louisiana. Wow, you guys Carrollton. are uh, Carrollton, amazing. Texas. Thank that's my, you. That's my guy, Juan. And where are we? Dallas. We're checking in from Dallas. Yeah, Dallas, Texas. <laughs> um, technically, Dallas, too. Um, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching from all over, staying up of all hours of the night. I know, that's it's crazy. crazy. We love you guys. And um, we want your feedback at all times. So hit us up on social. At VS Ellis everywhere, pretty much, yes. except Scott Ellis on Google+. Plus. That's correct. And at Callie Lewis. Right. But let's get to the unboxings. Yeah, let's open some stuff up. All right, let's do it. What do you want it. to start with? Something whatever big, something whatever you want to pick. It is it is your choice today. Well, this one's already kind of unboxed, oh, but okay. Geo just dropped this in here, so let's see what okay. we got going on. Geo, um, wow. The Kodak, the Pix Pro SP360 Action Cam with Extreme Accessories. Oh, my. Wow. All right, let's. I'm not even sure how you get this. So this thing would open. probably be a competitor oh. of sorts to things like the GoPro and Contour. It looks right? like it. Yeah. You want to open that one? Let's and do I'll it. get this. I'll, you've got the camera. I've got the accessories. <clears throat> yeah. Let's looks, make lots of money. <laughs> yeah. Looks very um, GoPro oh, yes. like. It does. But look at this has a, kind of a dome. Uh, a yeah. dome one right there. What you the trying camera. to say? <laughs> talking about the dome? <laughs> I'm talking about the dome. So here's the camera. <clears throat> so this is the, oh, uh, the Pix Pro. It's good looking. Yeah. Interesting. So it's, it's 360, very... which is why the dome, because, well, yes. yeah. It is 360. Um, it's, uh -huh. let's see. I don't have any other information about it right here on the box. Uh, how much is this, guys? And there are all sorts of accessories in here from like strapping gear to mounting gear. So Geo does a lot um, with experimental, uh, oh look, there's It does the, 1080p. Hey look. 16 megapixel. Oh, you have all the info. Yeah. There. That's cool. Dust proof, splash proof, and drop proof. Oh, that's good. For up good. to six feet. Nice. Yeah. Um, Very cool. This did, could be yeah. fun. He did take it out on one of the fishing show shoots and played with it a little bit. Oh, he did? And it looks really cool. Cool. Is it is the extreme. I would think it is, yeah. 375 on Amazon. Oh, wait, yeah. If that, that's, so, Daniel, that's the extreme pack. Um, and so uh, I bet Gia will be doing a review of this very soon. Probably he's already to starting to use it, and he's coming back for it right now because he said he saw that it was unboxed. Yeah. All right, you can have they're it. They're about five hundred bucks. Okay, thank you. They're about three fifty degrees, not three sixty. So when you get it, oh, but it's just SP Come on, talk loudly. Is that what the red lights? Are? <laughs> yes. Um, so when you here, let me get. So when you buy it. <laughs> You have to make sure that you know it's going to give you like a circular kind of a view because it's actually 360 degrees. But 350? Yeah, it doesn't give you. I mean, obviously, it can't see behind you. Was that right. uncomfortable? For you? That was really uncomfortable. Use it on a couple of fishing <clears throat> shows, and it turned out really well for nice. us. Nice. God, I wish you would have packed that better. <laughs> That's up I to just you. Just unpacked it. That's not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> Let's you, see what Gio. else we got. Uh, Keep it rolling. All right. Oh, this doesn't need open. Oh, yes, it does. Woohoo. All right. This is from Ubertronics. What? There it goes. It didn't? Oh, well. I like to use my knife. Uh, what do we have here? Who brought this one in? I did. All right, Gia, what is it? 
It's called a strike finder. It's a strike finder. So it's it's why aren't you on the show, Gio? Are we, are we fishing? Um, <laughs> I'm doing real work. <laughs> um, and this is a beta, beta, beta version of this, but it's called, look at my hair. I've got a huge <laughs> hair too. I don't think I should shave it, actually. Um, be good. So basically, you, you set this up on a DSLR. Okay. And the uh, sensor on here detects when lightning is about to strike. So you see the, 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 the photographers that are able to take pictures. Yeah. And you wonder how they can catch the lightning yes. in the moment. This is the trick. <gasps> I it's didn't know there was finder. a trick. And uh, this sensor detects uh, when the... Uh, there's something in the atmosphere that changes right before the lightning strikes and then it fires off a burst of six or seven images within a second mm. so that one of those images will catch the strike that's cool um, huh so we, have you been chasing lightning we've we've had this here for about a month and we haven't had the weather to be able to test it out uh, yet. so, so all, but i have tested it with the flashlight and it works with the flashlight well, all those with lights <laughs> you are pitiful. <laughs> you are. Gio, you were actually are. going to capture lights, the band. The band, um, yes. And this is uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> he did not invite me, so I'm a little upset at him at the I moment. I tried, though. You haven't checked your email. He did. He did, <gasps> he did? try. Yeah. He did try? It oh, is. you're so sweet. And you're not getting your email you're today. <laughs> but you can, you can actually uh, get all the pictures that he captures at all kinds of concerts and different events at Giovanni on Twitter and Giovanni. yes I know that's what Making I said notes, at Giovanni where else can um, we go I want to give a shout out to Janny in Finland he's <laughs> my new buddy um, I had to explain to him on chat that we do have polar bears in Texas are you see your friend too we have polar Jan bears in Texas Janny. he is a barrel of monkeys Okay. All right, have that. Oh, well, you also wanted to show off while you're here, as yeah. opposed to leaving. Oh, okay. This is the Geo show now. Geo. Apparently. This is the Geo corner. I'm just going to step aside. Yeah, we'll just let Geo, Geo show off. I have no okay. idea what this is. Uh, looks like flashlights. I mean, like uh, lights. Flashlights? Well, not flashlights, but like flash, you know, lights. Ah. <laughs> And he actually mentioned to me this morning. I'm not that repacking he was, this either. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Um, he actually mentioned that he was going to be doing some tests and okay. experiments with flash. Um, well, like strobe lights. I think these are the strobe. Are these the strobes? Yep, strobes. That's strobes. what I meant. It says flash on the box. <laughs> um, so yeah, so you Alien turn these bees. on, and these like just they're strobe lights. So you oh, all know cool. what strobe lights are. So I guess we'll be seeing those mounted here on the set soon, as Gio does his experiments. The entire like everyone has followed Gio out the door, so that was interesting. Yeah, bye um, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're you are a popular man. This will be fun. Man. I can I can. We have to do some fun buying yeah. stuff with that. Oh, that'd be a good one. Yeah. All right, let's see what else is not geo related. <sighs> Move Libby <laughs> out of the way. Here's something small. This is addressed to you. Oh, to me? Yeah, but I'm going to open it anyway. Okay, <laughs> do it. <clears throat> this is from, from Double who? Robotics. <gasps> oh, 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 yay! <laughs> I'm so excited about this one. Okay. You okay? <laughs> I, am, I am dancing. Um, all right. So as you guys know, we have the is. CEA bots, which are actually <laughs> <laughs> thank you, uh, which are actually double robots, uh, which are basically uh. little segue robots that are tell. Uh, Ah, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. um, that allow our remote uh, team members to to come in and roll around the entire studio and work with us. So, um, why are you stealing my cookie, David? <laughs> Too late. So this is an audio kit. It's brand I, I hope, needed. I hope this is not under embargo. Um, <laughs> I believe it's out. Um, and so this is basically going to attach to the double. And the you can arm, see, neck, yeah. yeah, this will pop out, it looks like. And then um, this will be the neck. And so the speaker and the micro microphone in there uh, will give us better sound. We'll be able to hear better. That They'll is be fantastic able to talk because that is louder. definitely one of the problems Correct. that we have is the the volume and the audio. I cannot wait to get this. Oh, but Dave is on vacation. Yeah, but he'll be back Monday, right? Yes. Like we can't log on. We, yeah, we can log on That's and true. Do, do a little test. Yeah. I'm very, very excited about this. All right, let's keep it this. going. we got lots yes, of stuff over here. Lots of it. It is like Christmas time today. All right. UPS, you're up. 
Okay, this is to Ben. So thanks, Ben. <laughs> um, we have something. It's not breakable. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the uh, sa sa Satachi, sata sata I always do this. Satachi, Satachi. <laughs> Let's that. see. It is the clamp hub. So it's, it's a, a USB hub. four port USB hub. Oh, I remember. I saw this come out. This is actually, it, it attaches to the front of your like iMac. Um, so you undo this uh. and you clamp it to the front of your iMac so that you can have front ports as opposed to reaching around the monitor. That could be very cool. Very which handy. is really cool. So you have the back USB that plugs in. So yeah. one time you plug into the back, and then you have four from the front. I I, I don't know who's going to be trying this, but it'll it'll be well, good. I might have I'm to sure. go buy an iMac just so that I can. Right. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's in uh, more UPS. Okay. This one doesn't need a knife. That's disappointing. <clears throat> is this the one that Duran uh, is playing? I claiming? think it is. Okay. Oh, now I can see why. Oh. These are the, the Klipsch. Klipsch. Awesome. Headphones. Those look beautiful. Let's see. Oh, these are the uh, these ones are the CES, CES? Uh, release. The Hold announcement. On. No, you don't. Oh. Yeah. Yep. No. I'm the, yes, you yes. do. One was open. That's what I was going by. So, uh, what are are they? Um, is what's notable just about them? Reference headphones. That they release. Reference headphones. Well, Klipsch. obviously it's Klipsch, so they're good quality. But yeah, good stuff. Ooh, nice packaging. Beautiful too. packaging. Look at that. Hold on, close that back up. You just did that so you could open it again. Yes, I did. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. That's a nice soft bag. Here, go ahead and like pull that, that bag out. <laughs> There's nothing else in there. Okay, here. Ooh, those look nice. They do. They Put look, them on. Uh, comfortable. See if they're comfortable. I'll find out. Um, so, how much are these? Do you remember? I don't remember. Uh, they, I Shocker. They release next month. Though. Oh, next month. Okay. Yes. So, so they're, they're <laughs> really nice are they noise canceling? Uh, no. Okay. No. So they're, they're just not, wrapped. But they're very yeah. comfortable. That's awesome. They really are. Super soft. And Shocker feel says that. that he uses Klipsch earbuds. I bet those are good. Yep. Cool. What yeah. else we got? We got more. Warbler. Uh, what? Camera straps. What? Warbler camera straps. Oh, for dogs. Uh, wow, that's a, oh, wait, no, not a, not dogs. This is too, <laughs> <laughs> this is a little long for dogs. It's just a very nice okay. leather, high quality uh, oh. camera strap. <laughs> that's a huge dog. Um, yeah, we're oh, it's a camera strap. I'm yeah, sorry, I missed. Not, I, not, I heard yes. that. I said it, but I, mean, I didn't. Didn't register. Process. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Nice. Yeah, very nice. It's very. It's nice leather. Who does that belong to? It feels good. It belongs it's to Geo, Geo, like all the other of stuff. Of course. Right? <laughs> oh, the headphones are. Clips headphones are one ninety nine on Amazon. Cool. Pre order from Clips ah. only. We'll oh, <laughs> now we have <laughs> something from BitTorrent. Nice. T-shirts? Yes, T-shirts, BitTorrent T-shirts. This looks sick. Uh, I think, I think, we, I you think, think we got the wrong ones. <laughs> I think we, this is not gonna fit we'll me. <laughs> nice. Very cool. Uh, our friends over at BitTorrent sent us some nice stickers too. Right People, on. not servers. <laughs> <laughs> no one can steal your data from the cloud if your data is not in the cloud. Well, that's very true. That is that is true, because BitTorrent Sync. Um, actually, we have a review on the website yep. um, about BitTorrent Sync, uh, and it's not cloud-based, but it, it kind of acts like all the other cloud stuff. But like GFS. right, but most people don't know what that is. So thank you, thank you for going over people's heads. What? No, I did not. All right. <gasps> Do this you one, not open? Before the show. Who's it from? I, uh, Melissa King, King's Chondral Candy. Oh, I think Lynn has struck. Uh, I was going to blame him <laughs> even if it wasn't his fault. <laughs> and <laughs> No. It's exactly what I said, Dave. <gasps> oh, 
Oh, hey, hang on. <gasps> what More is fun. that? It's, it's wrapped for wow. you, Callie. Is it for me, though, or is it know. for who? There's got to be like a note. Oh, no. Wow. To Lynn Wilkerson, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's Lynn's fault. That would be... Lynn, thank you. Lynn. As always. Oh, look at this. What, is you, what do you have? Show us what you have. I have... you got to zoom in on this. These are actual <gasps> buffalo chips. Huh. That that's sounds act, interesting. That's kind of... Yeah, interesting. Buffalo best sponge candy. Sponge candy? I don't know what that means. Let's see. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Wow. Yeah, Cubby, come on. <laughs> come on over. This smell good too. Are you on to more things? I, I'm I think just checking. Are, I don't know if there's anything else really here to I mean these this we're, we're talking food here. We're not eating. And yet, you're moving though. on to you open those up, things? we might have some. <laughs> what else you got? I don't are they? It's, it feels empty, but oh, maybe. maybe it was like from a previous week or something. It doesn't appear to have been opened. Oh my God! Look at What's this. That? Okay, hold on. Look at this. Oh uh, yeah. What the heck hold is this? On. That's a. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's how all you, you. How do you eat that? <laughs> Take a bite. I dare you. <laughs> that is hilarious. Wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's trying to tell us something. Maybe. Somebody thinks of this show? I mean, what is the deal here? I don't know, but I know for sure that I am going to be eating some of this before heading off to dinner. <laughs> because maybe... Oh. Let's dig in. All right. Why don't you do it here? I don't know how to... Is that knife clean? Yes. I... <laughs> I'm getting the wrap-up sign. He's going to cut into the candy, and uh, we're going to have a great weekend. I hope you guys have a great weekend, so um, chime in. Uh, let us know, comments, thoughts, What would you think of the new whatever. format? Did you like it? What Absolutely. Did you do we love to hear from you. Please. Bye. That was a cut. That was quite a cutoff, was wasn't it? Bye. <laughs> that was like, bye. Bye. <laughs> Show's over. Bye. I lost my spruce for uh, for for cutting it out. <laughs> That's Scott. Well, I already did. Are we still his, going? No, we're done. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Move that chair. Look and get a good pull. What the heck was that? Bye. Get in. Get in. Do a long one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Well, we think it's candy. <laughs> we don't know what it is exactly. That's like a major Nestle Crunch bar. Well, cut into it and try. Here, try these. I don't know what sponge candy is. I don't either. Let somebody else figure that out. Oh, I'll try one. Is it like cake? It's cake, isn't it? Is it literally a sponge? Look at it. I have a very weak... Don't we have this inside the walls? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like. Insulation, yeah. Um, this looks awesome. If you lick it, it dissolves. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, sponge candy is a mouth-watering piece of candy with an inside that tastes somewhat like molasses and caramelized sugar. <laughs> yeah, Lady A, that's what I was like. That's the shirt, now go away. <laughs> Interesting. I like the, the outer part, the peanut butter and chocolate. It does kind of melt. <clears throat> <I'm>, <laughs> I really don't want to dig into this thing, but I'm dying to know what it is. Do it. Let everybody share. Yeah. Except for this one. Thank you for sharing your goodies. You got like a marshmallow on the inside. Yeah. I will, um, Daniel, thank you. And thank you guys for... Um, for all your comments uh, throughout the show. Wow, what the? Mm, this is good. Is that marshmallow? Yeah. You don't like marshmallows? Is that why my bag of marshmallows that I gave you are in the, <laughs> still in the fridge? No, actually, I think mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, okay. All right, coconut. It's coconut? Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Phil. It's fun. Doing it again. <gasps> yes. Great job, Scott. Thank you. Cali, Luria. Yeah. Maybe. Luria. Caloria. I don't know how to how to identify myself now. <laughs> like, well, we'll, we'll find things to call you. Who am I? I mean, nobody wanted to mm. cut me off a piece. You want a piece? You got a knife? 
I wouldn't destroy my knife with it. We got a new alias. It's a knife. Caloria. <laughs> Isn't that Caloria. Mm. That means calories, by the way. Good lady. Glad. Good. That is pretty good. Mm. I, I wasn't too as impressed with that one. Yeah. That reminds me of those. Uh, it's very different. Cookies that just like a marshmallow with chocolate covered. Thank you, Daniel. Very different. Remember those? Mm -hmm. They were peppy. Spicy. Yeah. Rob, I'm just that girl. I don't. How did it turn into a Michael Bay movie? What's up, Rob? What does that mean? A Michael Bay movie. What does that mean? Exactly. Uh, we have lots of lens flare going on or something? <laughs> Digital film. Thank you, Ramy. The entire team is incredible. You are right about that. Yeah, when's Phil going to come up and visit again? Yeah, Phil, when are you coming to See visit? Eric on YouTube. Yes, Michael. And by the way, I saw your comment earlier, Michael, about my hair. Thank you. I have been doing something different with it a little bit. You're getting like, washing it. <laughs> I actually have been, oh. I don't know who that is. Unknown. Don't answer it. Oh, yeah. Hello. You should answer. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hey. <laughs> no, I'm not making a payment right now. I'm good. <laughs> actually, um, it's my eye doctor, so I'm going to cut out. So oh, I will say, fine. hang on just a second. I'm live oh, on right, TV so right now. So, <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Did you turn off the mic? No. Can you get it? Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Excuse me, yeah, I'm on TV right now. <laughs> we're, we're doing a television thing. Those are good.